Hi, I'm Joe Foster. Welcome to Kenjute and Blast from the Past, episode number two. In this particular episode, we are going to bring you a promotional video from approximately 20 years ago with footage from the late 1990s, early 2000s. When I introduced Kenjute, the first version in 1993, it did not have the name Kenjute. In fact, it didn't have a name at all. We just referred to it as an additional system being taught in my school while I taught the American Kempo format. Eventually, leaving the American Kempo format and focusing specifically on this system, we began to call the system Kanzen Kempo, as not to be confused with the American Kempo. Kanzen meaning complete or perfect. An earlier version of what you know today as Kenjite, which is clearly much more advanced and more involved, but it was pretty cool for its time. This is the promotional video. Sit back, watch, and enjoy. With changing seasons, the tiger seeks the dragon, evolving within. Kanzen Kempo is a unique martial arts system that has evolved over time, influenced by Chinese, Okinawan, Japanese, Hawaiian, and North American martial arts masters. Many of the principles, customs, and skills taught are centuries old. Kanzen Kempo is also a contemporary system, reflecting modern needs to be responsive to individual and organizational drives for change and evolution. With its own criteria and high standards of excellence, Kanzen Kempo is different from every other martial arts system. Kanzen Kempo is noted for its effective, powerful, swift, and devastating techniques. At the same time, it is an art full of beauty and grace. Kanzen Kempo is structured to accommodate a wide range of participants, right from the elite athlete performing at the highest international levels to the hobbyist who studies for exercise, interest, and enjoyment. Referred to as the world's most complete martial arts system, it offers participants a well-rounded education in fundamentals, self-defense, forms, weapons, sparring, special skills and theory. Kanzen Kempo has substantial width and depth throughout the system. From white belt up to and including fifth degree black belt, there are over 800 techniques, with 254 of them being taught from white belt to first degree black belt. It all begins with the basic ways to stand, block, punch, kick, move, fall, and roll. These are known as fundamentals. They are the foundation for every martial art. Stances are the positions where students learn about balance and control. Blocks provide students with their defensive shields to ward off attacks. Punches vary in nature from open-handed to closed-fisted and can also incorporate short-range weapons such as elbow strikes. The kicks taught in Kanzen Kempo are both linear and circular. Both punches and kicks are explored through a wide range of options based on distance, application, targets, weapon selection, and nature of use. Foot maneuvers teach students how to change their positions as well as angles of attack and retreat. Kanzen Kempo students are also taught how to safely perform falls and rolls. Self-defense is divided into two major categories, manipulation and striking techniques. Manipulation self-defenses teach methods of escape that might inflict pain but are not necessarily injuring the opponent. These are based on wrestling principles. Striking self-defenses focus more on boxing or striking principles. It's important to become proficient in both methods of self-defense. As the belts get higher, the striking techniques become more advanced by building on previous information. These are called extensions. Striking self-defenses at the highest levels teach additional methods of employing compounds, inserts, grafting, and intercepts. Additionally, multiple opponent self-defense techniques and offensive techniques are also developed at the higher belt level. Specific techniques can have multiple applications. Students are shown how to apply the predetermined self-defenses for different scenarios. These are known as expanded variables. 
Self-defense techniques in Kanzen Kempo are logical, practical, tested, well thought out, and follow proper concepts and principles of motion. Research clearly indicates that students in the Kanzen Kempo system are able to perform more advanced skills at a much earlier stage of training and have a higher level of proficiency. From start to finish, there are 535 official self-defense techniques taught in Kanzen Kempo. Forms are patterns of movement mimicking fight sequences. Practicing them is a great way to improve your cardio, concentration, and coordination. There are three different kinds of forms in Kanzen Kempo. Our traditional forms focus on the official self-defense techniques that are taught in the system. They are performed in a pattern that closely follows the eight major angles found on a clock or compass. Traditional forms known as Kempo Basics 1 and 2 review the fundamentals of our system. Traditional forms thereafter practice the official self-defense techniques of each preceding belt. This method allows the practitioner to commit the self-defenses to memory and further helps to quicken response time during combat. There are 11 traditional forms in Kanzen Kempo. Our empty hand competition forms have more athletic and dramatic movements. A grid pattern is used. Here, historical techniques from different martial arts are practiced for enjoyment, exercise, and appreciation. There are seven empty-handed competition forms in Kanzen Kempo. The third type of forms taught explore classical weapons like the tonfa, bow, sai, kama, torches, and double blades. Most of these weapons are not found in everyday use and therefore are practiced in prearranged patterns only. There are seven weapons forms in Kanzen Kempo. Thus, the total number of forms offered in the entire Kanzen Kempo system is 25. You should know that both our empty hand competition forms and our official weapons forms have been used extensively by our students in tournament competitions over the years with tremendous success. The Kanzen Kempo system also offers its students many different functional weapons. These include weapons of the stick family, blade family, and rope and chain family. In the stick family, students have the opportunity to learn sticks of varying lengths, beginning with the Iwara stick. This weapon can easily be substituted for something as simple as a pen or pencil. Students learn some key pressure points with this weapon. The next length of stick is called the short stick. This weapon has the approximate length of a police baton. Items such as a short umbrella could be an easy substitute. The riot stick is three feet in length. Golf clubs, baseball bats, and canes would use the same principles as this very functional weapon. Finally, students get to experiment with double sticks, employing both hands and lightning speed strikes. In the blade family, students are introduced to the single knife, double knives, and sword. The rope and chain are functional weapons that teach students concepts beyond striking, such as whipping, trapping, tying, and off-angle blows. Weapons are found throughout the Kanzen Kempo system, starting at green belt. The functional weapons are taught through learning predetermined self-defense techniques. Kanzen Kempo students have the opportunity to learn 13 different weapons. Sparring is very important because it teaches students how to move, evade, and reposition themselves during an active engagement. Safety is very important so there are rules to ensure that each participant gains maximum benefits with minimal risk. Safety equipment is also worn. There are four different kinds of sparring taught in Kanzen Kempo. Point sparring is the first method. Here, students learn to score to specific targets with controlled techniques. When a clean point is executed, the match is halted to judge the point, and then the match is restarted. Usually, this type of match lasts for about two minutes, with the player scoring the most number of points being declared the winner. Most point sparring matches are designated as non-contact. This means controlled blows may be struck to the body, light touch to the helmet, and no contact to the face area. This type of sparring is great for children and beginning adults recently introduced to sparring. Point sparring divisions at tournaments are usually broken down by age, gender, weight, and experience. Mat sparring is the second method of sparring available to Kanzen Kempo students. Mat sparring is optional for lower ranks, but can be learned at any time once a student has a working knowledge of the basics. Knowledge of mat sparring skills are mandatory for second degree black belts. Similar to Judo, mat sparring focuses on the manipulation of your opponent by using techniques such as trips, tackles, throws, chokes, and holds. Mat sparring divisions are broken down by weight. 
The third type of sparring is called continuous sparring. It is like point sparring, except it's non-stop. Continuous sparring is introduced at brown belt. The object of practicing continuous sparring is to develop better flow and movement capability. Continuous sparring divisions are usually broken down by age, gender, weight, and experience. Finally, the last kind of sparring found in Kanzen Kempo is open sparring. It is a combination of mat sparring and continuous sparring and is meant for black belts to display versatility in fighting skills. Open sparring divisions are broken down by weight. Another major element of the Kanzen Kempo system is known as special skills. Street groundwork techniques are available as an ancillary set of skills to students with a firm knowledge of the basics. Street groundwork is formally taught at third degree black belts. In street groundwork, students learn about a variety of different escape and attack positions. Breaking is taught at both brown belt and black belt. Students quickly learn about proper alignment, penetration, focus, and balance when delivering blows against an object. This is an activity reserved for students who have received proper instruction. Street continuity is another concept from the special skills category. Self-defense, sparring, and groundwork are simultaneously applied in street continuity drills to help the student react in a spontaneous manner. The final element of the Kanzen Kempo system is theory. We provide theory at every level of training. This approach leads to better educated martial arts students. Kanzen Kempo students are responsible for the theory found at each belt level and will be asked to apply this information during explanation of techniques as well as for written submissions. They learn about the laws of motion, rules of conduct, diet, exercise and stress, goal setting, history, coding of the system, anatomy, philosophy, mental and physical controls, concepts and principles, tournament play, first aid, manager training, teaching skills, and strategy. In summary, Kanzen Kempo is a martial art with a rich heritage, credible lineage, and meaningful information. It has a history of producing top quality students who have received a well-rounded martial arts education. Studying this dynamic martial art could prove to be one of the most rewarding activities you and your family may ever do. An individual type of activity with lots of group interaction, it is exercise with a purpose. Whether you are a man, woman, or child, the lifelong benefits from participation are evident. In just a short time, you will be capable of doing things you previously never thought possible. We know because we've taught this martial art to thousands of people just like you. Kanzen Kempo is complete. Kanzen Kempo standards are both high and consistent. Kanzen Kempo produces intelligent, confident, and competent practitioners. Kanzen Kempo is the future. Welcome to the future. In my quest for excellence of body, mind, and spirit, I will live by the principles of Kanzen Kempo. Truth, compassion, humility, perseverance, integrity, patience, and justice for all. For all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you would like to learn more about what we do, please visit our website at www.kenjuteinternational.com where you too can get involved with Kenjute's online learning program from anywhere in the world. Thanks for watching.